Hey, Scott or Stan here. Just want to talk a little bit about the chartered system. A lot of people don't know about the chartered system that scouting is based on. Scouting a long time ago, back in 1916, actually became chartered through Congress. Um, that it was a Title 36 uh, of the Congressional Charter uh, to help America's youth become good citizens. That has been the primary goal uh, set out by Congress for scouting to do for America. Uh, the chartered system has been around for a very long time uh, and it can be kind of confusing. Uh, do you remember back when you first joined scouting? You had to fill out an application and then they prorated out the, the months that was left in the year so that you would be able to join a charter that's already in progress. That's the process of a sign-up night at a lot of schools. A lot of places, they're kind of confused about that whole charter system. Who would blame them? They've never been involved in scouting, so they don't know anything about it. So us as adult leaders need to step back a little bit, use simple terminology, so that they can understand what a chartered system is. Charters are owned by nonprofit organizations. Uh, they can be profitable too. Uh, there are some chartered schools that are a profitable thing that have, uh, you know, chartered schools, just like chartered scouts. Uh, they have these things and they can do um, uh, a charter, basically own a unit. So whether it be Cub Scouts or a, a troop or a venture crew or whatever, the charter owns the unit. Um, they are uh, somewhat responsible for the equipment, uh, even though the unit should take care of that and be self-sufficient. Uh, you know, a scout is thrifty. You know, that's a big deal. So we, we as a charter organization are not necessarily a burden on the people who are actually chartering the unit. It's huge. Um, this can be, this can be um, a little confusing if you're just starting off on it. So us as um, leaders, we need to start talking to parents that are just joining about joining scouting. You cannot join a scouting unit, Cub Scouts, troop, whatever. You can't join a Cub Scout unit or a Boy, a Boy Scout or a girls unit. You can't join any of that unless you're a member. That's the first step. And that's that membership application. And that's why it's prorated for the date. That monies goes directly outside the the uh, district council and up to national so that the membership is taken care of. From then on, all of the applications, all of the renewals are done at recharter. And recharter usually is at the end of the year. That's, for instance, we're currently in 2019. Uh, at the end of, I believe near the end of November, all units should be hand, starting to hand in their 2020 recharter paperwork. So that that's critical for a unit to get that in on time, uh, especially for JTE. Super important uh, that that is done. But the charter system has been around for a very long time. The council is financially separated from national and each district is responsible for handling its own. The thing is that the councils themselves are not funded through any of the membership stuff. That is done by local donations from very generous sponsorships and through Friends of Scouting. That's how the council pays for camp. That's how the council pays its employees. Um, it's kept very minimal. Um, you know, like I've said in the past, that's always kept very slim as far as um, employees and, and workers and salaries.
So it is a charity. And uh, that's one of the key things about scouting. No matter what happens at the top, uh, as far as national or even council, scouting will continue because of the chartered system. The chartered system is, is a wonderful thing. I like it. And uh, we need to understand that as unit leaders, uh, that that's how this whole system works. Um, I want to tell you that um, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Okay. Uh, I know it can be tough out there, especially in today's society. They can be really um, uh, demanding. Okay. So keep up the good work and uh, just know that you are doing the right thing and that you are putting in uh, to help America's youth. And I thank you. Um, so uh, until next time, I will see you on the trail.